Hey everybody, happy Think Friday or whatever day it may be when you're watching this. My name is David Barnes. I'm part of the Emerging Internet Technologies Group under Rod Smith. And in this video, I want to give you a very quick overview of how Bluemix works. For this scenario, I'm an application developer. And HR came to me and they said, David, could you create an application that uses uh, social outreach, social media, to help us find new qualified employees? So I'm going to create an application that uh, sends out invitations to people on LinkedIn. If they accept the invitation, we grab their profile information from LinkedIn, put it into a database, and then we put it into an HR dashboard so HR can sort by qualified candidates. As the developer, I go here to Bluemix. The first thing I do is I'm going to select a catalog and it shows me boilerplates that are available for me to use in my application like this mobile backend starter. It contains most of the services I would need to build a mobile application. It lets me choose the frameworks or runtimes that I want for my application. Developer choice, developer freedom. I can choose services that I want. IBM created services. I'll scroll down here. We've got community created services and very importantly, services that are IBM certified created by third party partners. In this case, like Twilio and Pitney Bowes. For my application, I'm going to go up here and say, I want to create my application with Node. I'll give this application a name. I'll call this one, let's say, uh, top 10 talent. And I have a one named that, so I'll call it dash one. Notice the URL is Bluemix.net. When I select Create, Bluemix runs on top of Cloud Foundry. So it is going to Cloud Foundry and saying, please create an instance of Node for this developer, for this application, and it's up and running. And as a developer, I don't have to create virtual machines or deal with routers or domain names or configuring memory or any of that stuff. Instead, it's up and running, and that just saved me so much time. So Bluemix just asked Cloud Foundry to do that. It's up and running. Now for my application, I use Node for the application, but I'm going to also add a database and some other things. As the developer, by the way, if I want, I can click on my little robot friend up here. It gives me information about what just happened. Down here, it gives me information on how to get started. A few very easy steps. I, though, need to add something to my Node application. I'm going to scroll down and say, you know, Node is cool, but I need more. I'm going to add a service. I want to add some single sign-on capabilities, perhaps. Or here, I want to add a cloud database. I have to put this LinkedIn information somewhere. So here's information, and I could add it into Bluemix, into my Node instance, and it binds it to the Node instance once again, up and running, ready for me to go. Uh, I'll switch over to one that we already have running. I'll call it a pre-bake. This application does what I had mentioned. It's got Node running. It's got Cloudant running. It's got some secure sign-on running and ready to go. Ready for the developer to write software. I'm going to switch tabs here. You still have to write software. You can choose your development environment. If you want to write, in this case, in Jazz Hub, notice that I have an option to deploy. I can put in my user ID and password, and it pushes it up into Bluemix. If I go over here and I want to use Eclipse on my desktop, my code is here. When I get done, it pushes it into Bluemix, and it uses those services to run the application. I'll go back over. There's the application that we created, and after I write my code, it's up and running, and it's available, and HR sees it, and they say, hey, we absolutely love this. Let me give you an example of how it works. I launch the application. It says, hey, would you like to give your information from LinkedIn to apply for a job, or at least have your name in the hat? I say, hey, this sounds good, so I will allow access. We just went with code that was written in Node, Use the LinkedIn API, grab the information from LinkedIn, put it in the Cloudant database. So now HR can look at it. When we go to the HR dashboard, we had some security to get us there. And there are the candidates that we just got their information from LinkedIn with their permission. If I scroll to the top, I can say, hey, there's this totally unqualified person, me. And the HR people can dig a little further. They love it. 
the boss said, hey, this totally rocks, but I wanna scale it out. Let's get this thing running out there. I need a little bit more resource, so I'll click on this node instance that's running in Cloud Foundry, in Bluemix. I say, I wanna add more instances of this running. I wanna scale it out, because Cloud Foundry can scale out for me. And there we go, I just scaled out my services. Scalability is essential in a real cloud environment. Or, let me reset that, I don't wanna necessarily do that instead, HR said, can you add more services, more functionality? I go in, add more services, add more functionality to the code. I could integrate with my existing enterprise systems and the application is built out. HR is happy. I continue to add more functionality for them in a sort of an iterative fashion with a feedback loop from the business user to me, the application developer, in a DevOps cycle, and I did not have to deal with infrastructure. Infrastructure as a service, it's underneath all of this. I don't deal with it. Bluemix is a platform as a service and more. I don't have to deal with that. Select my services, get my code up and running, be innovative, provide the business unit with what they want very quickly, and then go off and do something more exciting and do it in a way that makes me, as an application developer, very happy, very productive, and very innovative. There's so much more to Bluemix. If you want your customers to experience the next generation in cloud technology, invite them to go to bluemix.net and join the beta.